Hi guys. Oops. Hi guys. I'm trying to pop in here. I'm gonna start my own camera. So anyway, thank you guys for coming back. When I see a hundred and something people are watching my stuff, it warms my heart. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I'm thrilled. So anyway, come on back to see this cute video. Just grab your coat hangers. That's all you're gonna need. All you're gonna need today. It's just plastic coat hangers. And let me tell you, I did the, the I did a project. This is a lawn ornament. So anyway, uh, grab, I think that it's easier to do the baby hangers. So if you have these, that's great. But if you don't, you can do the big one. It's just gonna take a little bit more work. And I know everybody's got the big ones. So, you know, so it's gonna take a little bit more work. And I did one last night. Look, I did this one. And uh, it's a little bit big, I know, but it's gonna go on my back fence. And what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna show y'all real quick, cause this is a quick craft, you know, this is simple. Oh my gosh. You know, take what you have, don't spend any money. This is the only thing you might have to buy, unless you have these already. You know, it's a solar light. So you're gonna put this on here. And you know, this one, because it's so big, you're not gonna be able to, the point won't go in, but I'm gonna use the big ones for my back fence because I want my lighting at the top of my fence. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wire these around one of the pickets and I'm gonna hang these on my back fence. So I love it. I love the way it looked. And I discovered this project at a graduation. I drove up to the graduation party and in front of that big sign that everybody gets the letters and all that, she had these butterflies in front for her daughter's graduation. And you know, they looked great when you walk, when you drove up in the daytime, but when you left the party at night, all the lights were on and oh my gosh, I ran over there cause I was like, how did they do this? You know, I had to know, you know, you know me. I was like, how do you make something out of coat hangers? And she told me, I made all of them. You know, I just decorated the whole lawn with them. And the driveway, the entrance of the driveway look like a million bucks, let me tell you. I mean, she really did, she went, I mean, it was over the top. But if you were doing a bridal shower, a baby shower, surprise everybody, do all this stuff, you know? It's a dollar, it's a dollar and you have these. They're gonna go in the trash. You know, once they break, we throw them away. So anyway, oh, I wanna do a shout out real quick. Oh, everybody's been so nice. Everybody's been so nice, that's what we need. We need more positivity, we need nice. We need nice people. And for the joy of Vegas, Thank you. She's a moderator on J and K Stay in Vegas on Saturday night. So I see her on there and you know, she's she supports everybody. She's a sweetheart. And she did a room tour in Vegas because she vacations there. And you know, she takes a trip and she'll go for the weekend or whatever and she'll do a room tour. And I need to know, you know, who's got free fridges? You know, can I, can I put my own stuff in a fridge? Who's got a good bathroom? You know, is it, you know, you know, what's going on here? So thank you for doing that, Joy. It was, it was an excellent video. And Cheat Meal Food Cat, she's great. Big supporter of all the sites. Oh my gosh, she's a sweetheart. And her husband's a bodybuilder. And I watch him and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta work out, you know. I, I can't lift the weights he's lifting. <laughs> I wish I could, but uh, you know, I gotta, you know, I can, you know, I, I wanna skip four days. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm lifting those weights today. Summer's coming, I'm gonna have to show these arms off. So thank you, Kat, you're a sweetheart. And Prudy's Kitchen, that lady can cook. Check her out, because she did a churro the other day that was in this huge ring of a cinnamon roll. It was that big. And I love churros. I'm still thinking of that. So, and New England Scratcher, I like winners. You know, he's already gotten two claimers. He's already claimed his thousands of dollars in New England in January. I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, I've been playing the lotto forever. I played with my girlfriends for Christmas one time and we got a claimer. We got to go to the office. You should have seen us. We were crazy. We, we were so excited that we got to claim a little prize. And I think we won like $2,200. And, and that was our Christmas gift to each other. We just did, we just bought a block of tickets and we drank margaritas and we scratched them off. And that was our gift to each other and we won. So when I watch New England Scratcher, I can't wait to get out there. I already called Bunny. I said, you know, we're doing a we're doing a scratching party when when this whole thing is over, so we can just go out to a restaurant and stuff. But thank you guys for coming back, and I want to I want to tell everybody that the first coat hanger recycling thing I ever saw was when I was a kid, and it was a gift wrap deal. And this is the first thing I ever saw. And I, and I think the first recycling project I ever saw in my life, I was like, I didn't know you could make something out of nothing. You know, I'm like a kid, I'm like in third grade. And I went to a slumber party and Miss Clark, she, she was a crafter. And we got to the slumber party and everybody had these little packages. And you know, she had them hanging up. 
She had them all hanging up really nice, like on the stairway. And she's like, everybody grab a little bag, it, you know, grab a little hanger. You've got a goodie bag, you know, you've got a goodie in there. And I think it was a Pez and a couple of little bracelets and stuff. But, you know, I'm old school. I never forgot that. And let me tell you, until this day, late, years later, I was like, why did she use a coat hanger? And I thought, because there was no goodie bags back in the day. You know, this is like the 80s, like, you know, 79, 80 or something. But this is great. And, and you know, you could still do this. You know, I put a little something in here. I wanted to wrap it. And that's how pretty it was. And trust me, all the, you know, we were little. We like all ran up to the, we wanted to see what was in here. We're like, coat hanger gifts. But it was crazy. So you could do this. So look at this real quick. Because I know you, you know, you can do this in minutes. Get the kids involved and get some cheap paint if you want to. And I did mine. I polka dotted my hangers. I know. I don't like anything plain. I'm going to polka dot the other one. Why do I like stuff on stuff? Because I just do. So get this out and uh, just take your, you know, put it in the cap. You know, if you don't have a paper plate and just dot it. And it took seconds, you know. And like I tell you, I added flowers to this one. But if you want to go over the top, you can't. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your coat hanger and you're gonna put the little hooks in the middle to make a heart. You see this little weird heart? You're gonna make one on both, you're gonna do two hangers just like that. And you're gonna take your zip ties. And if you don't have zip ties, it's Texas. So I know the heat's gonna get these. You know, the heat's gonna tear everything up. So I use zip ties. But you could, do, you could use these bread things. You know, you don't have to go out and buy anything. Use what you have. So I use the zip ties and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just, and, and put them flush together. I try to overlap them and it didn't work out very well. I tested it last night. And I think there's another video online of this. If you don't understand mine, she, this lady did it and she did it really great. And, and you know, I, you know, I thought this is just, I gotta show this off. I thought this is so easy. Oops, make sure your zip tie's right. Okay, so you're gonna take your zip tie and you're gonna, okay, there we go. And don't get it too, don't overlap it if you don't have to. I'm gonna, I probably should do the hook first, but that's all right. And I'm just gonna tie that. See, you can see that. I hope I didn't go too much. Kitty, <laughs> my cat's right here. I'm a little kitty, look at my kitty. Come here, come here, you wanna say hi? Whoops, you wanna say hi? Look, that's my kitty cat, that's one of them. She's like 15, she's so old, but she's so little. You know, it's weird, it's weird. So anyhow, she's something else. So anyway, okay, so you're gonna take that and then you're gonna take this one and you're gonna, you know, tie the top of your heart and just use another zip tie. Let's see, do I have little ones? I have little ones and big ones. I mean, it's up to you. They have these at the dollar store too. You know, we just, you know, we have tons of them in the garage. And in fact, I asked my husband, where's the zip ties? He's like, why? Like, why, what are you, like, what are you up to now? Like, you know, don't get into my fishing stuff. I'm like, I'm not. Oops, 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 oops. Here we go, here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm doing it backwards again. Okay, zip ties are a little tricky. A little tricky. Okay, there we go. Make your heart. Put your little things flush. And just zip them up. Okay, so now I got two. I got two pieces. That's a wing. Each little piece is a wing. And then you're just going to tie them off again. You're gonna tie them off in the middle right here. So, and you know, snip them as you go because then you're dealing with all this stuff and you're, it's just too much, it's too much. So, I hope everybody's doing great. I was like, it's been crazy. But, uh, you know, Houston's kinda of coming back. You know, we're trying, you know. Everybody's cleaning. Everybody's trying to get their yards. Everybody's really paranoid about their yards because everything's brown and, and just dead. So, it's just, you know, you know how it is. We're coming, we're getting a little cold front tomorrow, but. Nothing major, nothing major. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, here, let me, let me just go this way. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna zip it four. You know, I, I made these two together, and then I'm gonna put it together this way. I'm trying not to overlap it, guys, but, you know, work with it. Work with it. Do what you can. And then I'll do this one. Oops. Okay, and like I tell you, the bigger one is so, you know, it's so easy to buy the big one, but here's the deal with buying the big one. You're gonna have to put the holes in because it's got this stuff. It's got this plastic stuff, but there's some holes on here. You can see they, they kind of manufactured the hole in there. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to take this and make your own holes. And I didn't want to do all that. And it, this, is, this was a little harder to do, but you know, it's up to you. It's up to you. 
you know, and I like the little ones. And I went to the dollar store and there they were, you know, little baby, little baby uh, uh, coat hangers for the kids' clothes. I thought, easy, I'm just buying these. I thought, they're just easy. I'm just gonna do that. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so I basically, I'll gather it together. You know, I'm gonna arrange it first. Arrange it first. And you're gonna have to, you know, get on the floor and do this, or get on a table and get the kids involved. I can tell you, super easy. Nothing's gonna break. And that's it, guys. That's it. Look at that. Oops, wait a minute. Wait a minute, why is it not, why is it not doing that? Okay, you might need another one. You're gonna need another one. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute, I'm missing something here. No, that should be it. Okay, oh, you know what it is? You're gonna use your pipe, okay. You're gonna use your, your pipe of your, uh, of your middle thing. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, there we go. I was like, I made tons of these last night. You know, I tried it and tried it and tried it. Okay. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, so now that all that's done, you're gonna do the, do the, and you know, do it like this if you want to. Do it like this, it would probably be better, or you can do it like this. It's up to you. Okay, you know, you're gonna have to fiddle with it. But when it when you put it in the ground, trust me, it looks great. It just looks great. I'm gonna get a thicker one. Let's see, where's this going? Okay, 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 here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, and let's see, did I get that right this time? Yes, yes, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put that way down. I'm gonna put that as low as I can. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I got that tied on, and once it goes in the ground, this sets on the ground too. So, you're basically gonna, you know, goes up like that. Now this one I did a little more solid, and it's gonna hang on my fence better. So you're gonna have to work with it, girls. You know, you decide, and you know, if you want it, you know, let's see, I can do one more. I think that'll be better. Yep, let me do one more. Yep, I'm paranoid about that kind of coming apart. I don't like that. Let's see, wait, if I go to, no, if I can't go that way, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do another one. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, I see what I'm doing here. I see what I'm doing. Okay, oops. Okay, yay. Okay, here we go. Okay, I wanna do another video real, you know, just really fast too, probably by the end of the week on, you know, I like to do shirt art. You know, I take old shirts or whatever and I make them into artwork around the house. I've always done that and it's so easy and I wanna show y'all how easy it is. I think you'd like it. So, okay, here we go. I'm cutting this off and there it is, finally. So you are gonna have to tinker with it. You know, I was like, why isn't it stiff? You know, why isn't it holding its, you know, its, its shape? Well, it's because it has to be tied to this. And you know, I'm gonna put this in the ground you know, and this gonna go on my, I'm, I'm probably gonna put this, I don't know if I'm gonna hang this one on my fence, or I'm gonna put this one actually on the ground in front of the hedges, because I have some ugly edges and they kind of died. I'm gonna have to trim the top and make them look better. But you can see where this is going, you know. Do your little gift bags if you're having a little slumber party, because that's cute for your kids, or do a lawn ornament, or do a back fence, you know. You know, do some bigger ones, so it's up to you guys. I appreciate y'all coming back, and <laughs> this is just simple and crazy. Oh, and if you like my sweatshirt, my Barbie sweatshirt, I made it into a jacket. You know, I did that video a few months back. You just cut up the middle, and this is a kid's. Kid's sizes now are 16 to 18. I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, you can get a sweatshirt for six, a size 16 to 18 or 14 to 16. Get a kid's shirt. You know, it's a, it's a person, it's an adult medium, I think, or adult large. So anyway, I just cut it up the middle and I put a little slice in the cuffs to turn it up and it's a jacket and I love Barbie. So, you know, why not? So thanks guys. Thanks for coming back and have a great week. Okay. See ya. Bye.